Go. Action! So what was the... Where, you, where do you leave off? <laughs> you start, can talk okay. huh? Hello, this is Sheldon. Sheldon, start talking now. Okay, hi. Uh, so, yeah, this is my first time talking to an audience that... Doesn't exist. See, uh. <laughs> so let's try to make this work. Imagine Zion's face. Okay. <laughs> it didn't help that his icon is a ne? colorful ne, thing. Ne, 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 ne. Got face liao. Oh. Hi. So, so uh, hi, hi, hi. hi. I actually cannot. Yeah. Cannot see la. We okay. are waving at you. Uh, just imagine us waving. Anyway. You can okay. see from here, right? No, oh, you no, no see. cannot because okay. you're not streaming. You can see later. Uh, uh, later, later we'll see. Okay, so this, this talk is called the Atomic CSS Restart System. And before I get into this, I want to recall some previous, a couple of previous talks that I did uh, in Talk CSS. So this was actually my first talk at Talk CSS, I think 2018 or something. Uh, it's how to use Atomic CSS and sleep at night. So uh, Atomic CSS is not, uh, just a refresher. Atomic CSS is an approach to doing styling where you are uh, using a bunch of single purpose styles. That means each, style, each, each class only has one uh, property and only does one thing. So you use a bunch of these classes to you combine them to build your UI. So an example of it would be something like this. Uh, yeah, so in this case, right, M0 means margin 0, BG white means background color white, stuff like that. So I think a uh, pretty common, a pretty common library that does this is uh, Tachyons, tachyons.io. And there's another one that's, I think it's a more evolved way of doing atomic CSS, it's called Tailwind. So I haven't tried that yet, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, so when this thing, when this approach first came out, it was quite controversial, right? Because back then the prevailing best practice was uh, to use semantic class names, like use class names that represent the content that you are styling. So this kind of felt like a step back into the past where like people use inline styles and that's like totally yucky and unmaintainable. Uh, so in my talk, I talked about uh, taking a balanced approach. So I preferred, like I didn't like to go all in into atomic CSS. I kind of uh, did the conventional way but for certain classes, I think for like things like spacings, for margins and paddings, uh, having this into uh, putting this into component into into s like single-purpose classes were very useful for like moving things into like proper layouts and appearance. So I kind of this kind of like utilities utility classes approach, yeah. So it's like a bit of both. So that's uh, atomic uh, CSS. Another talk I gave was about design tokens which are abstractions of visual properties like colors and fonts and uh, these are platform agnostic uh, like variables so the idea is that if you have multiple products across any platform like web, iOS and Android they all pull from a single source of truth which represents your, your company's branding uh, with the visual styling and the goal is, is make it, to make it easier for all your products uh, all your user touch points to have a more consistent visual appearance. I eventually went on to uh, do a small demo about using this thing called Style Dictionary by Amazon that helps to I mean, helps do this uh, style design tokens approach. And this design tokens thing, as you can imagine, is probably something related to uh, very useful for design systems and stuff like that. Now, today's topic is Atomic CSS with style system. So we talked about style. Uh, we know what's Atomic CSS. But what is style system? Uh, so maybe you probably can kind of feel better by now. Like, uh, like the first talk was Atomic CSS and style system, and this is probably like the third in the trilogy, right? Style system is probably like a design system thing, right? If you probably can open the system. So what actually is style system? Uh, style system comes from this thing called style components which in turn comes from this thing called React. So yes, I'm using, I'm talking about React in talk CSS. And actually, start components is uh, basically CSS and JS. So my god, that's for me. The audacity of me talking about uh, CSS and JS in the sacred halls of talk CSS, right? I'm going to make a comment about this <laughs> afterwards. So to be in my defense, actually this talk actually came about because, uh, as a proposal for uh, RK. React knowledgeable RK. I know. So RK, yeah. Okay, RK is the friend friend uh, meetup for best friend meetup. Uh. Yeah. So <laughs> if you're watching this, also must go. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that came up from RK, and well, to be fair, I've been doing React like for the past one year for uh, like a lot. So and I think style uh, style components is like the most kind of like the most friendly, uh, uh, like CSS friendly way of doing 
styling in React, I feel. Because in the end, most of it is still writing normal CSS. So if you don't, if you don't use React or stock components, this is what an example of what it kind of can look like. So I'm basically creating a React component that just encapsulates styling. Uh, with the right VS Code plugin and all that, you will have the proper syntax highlighting and all the complete. So it's pretty nice. So let's start components. Now, what is start system? Start system is basically taking start components into like one level, one level beyond. So this is the website startsystem.com. And at this point, I'll just switch over to code pen because I think it's easier to just show you how it works. Code sandbox. Uh, code sandbox, Lol. yes. Lol. And so I'm gonna like kind of. Okay, what, what I have here is like, you can see not. Yeah, I can write. It's kind of blurry, but I'll try. So, uh, code sandbox. In this code sandbox, I've prepared. Uh, 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 like a new project which basically just has start components and start system and put into it. Do you create right. React app? Yes. I mean, blasphemy. no, it's, it's, no, it's, it's just, just, it's just automatic. I'm just kidding. Yeah. There's no blasphemy if you create React app, man. Damn not dependency. First of all, you know what I mean? And, and anyway, yeah, never mind. True, Moving true. on with life. Okay, so, like, you've used this before, right? So, it's just like you have an empty app uh, component with like nothing on it. So I'm just gonna ooh, let me get rid of this. I'm just gonna create a new component. I'm just gonna call it actually I'm gonna call it layout because I'm gonna have a few components in the future. So just put layout and I'm gonna import style from style components. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna create a box component. So we'll type on my lab here. Give it a line. I'm gonna export it as a component like this. I'm gonna import box from layout. So I'm just gonna render it like that. Alright, so this is like the simplest start component ever. Nice. Now I'm going to do this start system thing. So, what actually is it about? So, I'm just going to import this thing called space. Thomas claims he's now in. Got me? Ne? May I see him also? Liar. Liar. <laughs> Maybe he's in the other. Maybe he's in the fake. He's in the fake Facebook. Cannot be, la, right? Facebook link la. No, I really, I really delete the one inside. I say oh, use the comment. But people don't see comment. Ma. Oh man. Poor la, Never mind. Never mind. Technology okay. fail. What is it? Alright, so I'm going to import this space thing from uh, start system. Oops, start system. And I'm going to just put it inside this box component. So this basically gives my box some special powers. So remember how we use class names with uh, Atomic CSS, right? Plus for me, no, you can do something <laughs> similar. No, no, it's like awesome. You can do this thing. I'm your hacker la. So I can put M 20px. And now I have margin 20px. It's basically what, what it produces is uh, you know, like start components that creates, it generates the class names on its own, right? Mm. Then it's like hash and randomized mm. string. So it just creates the same thing, just creates the class name and it just takes this, creates the margin 20px into that, into that style and then you can use it straight away. Mm. So I can do this thing where 20px and all that. Oh, okay, he's here, huh? Oh, he's here. Hi. Oh, hi, Thomas. Hello. Are you like the second only other person in this room? It's Thomas and Zion. Okay. Say hi. Yeah, nice, hi. nice. Yep. So this respects like, like this P basically just chalk up a padding. Then there's actually, uh, you can actually call it like P T. It's like padding top. But P do you have to memorize M uh, P T la, It's only B, C, C, C la. Top bottom left right is just P B L R. Yes, yeah, so I don't, I don't use border actually for for this. So, <laughs> so I, I limit it to only a few things that I use. Okay. So there's you want like and max, like when the out center auto right, you can just do like max. Auto and X is left and right. 
Yeah, you don't have weave here, so it's not going to work. But yeah, there's no weave. It's really sad to weave, man. But X here refers to X axis, so it's like left and right. Y refers to top and bottom. Oh, so, so, so you still have to kind of learn the language, la. Yeah, bit, but it's, it's very little. Yeah, it's very little. Okay, okay. It's very intuitive, I feel. Okay, okay. So, but that so just just one piece of stout components, right? But this was when I first saw this. That was the hook that, that got me like, hey, this is like the equivalent of Tomic CSS in in React. Mm. Yeah. Before that, I was like looking for a way. Mm. But it goes even more, man. So, so space is just one thing. We can have a. Uh, what do you want to show? Uh, we have like width. Is it with? No, layout. I don't really use layout. Wait, let me just <laughs> check my start system <laughs> reference again. Uh, space, color, typography, this layout. Uh, Flexbox is another thing that I use a lot. Oh, must use reference la. Okay la, okay la, I can. Yeah, there's reference. No, nobody actually needs to memorize this shit la. Just yeah, keep nobody. the docs open, yo. So I like to do this thing where I extend the box with a new flex component uh, then I just put display flex so basically this flex component is now a same thing with a box but just that it's a, sub it's a subset so it has a, it's a display flex in it mm. so I can import ooh, what happened? I can import flex into this same app then now So we have to type in my lap. <laughs> now I have a flex box here. Yeah, hey, because I was now autocomplete one. I think I typed it fast already. Something. No. Oh, yeah, how do oh, I have they, a no, they don't auto, auto error, is it? No, they don't autocomplete component, I think. They don't autocomplete hmm. JSX qua. Another. Uh, so, as you can see, this. It's, it's flexed because it's in one line, otherwise it would be in two, two, two rows, right? Yes, so this is flexed. Yes. And it still has that super power of like paddings and all that. Alright, mm -hmm. then... Uh, I can... Oh yeah, I didn't actually use the flexbox thing, so let me just try. Let me just... Did I put it inside already? I didn't actually put it here, so I can use the flex box. This actually doesn't cause display flex, it just gives it the flex one, the flex direction, stuff like that. Okay. So I guess put the flex box here. Yeah, I need this other component for the display flex only. So now I can do flex equals one. And. So I'm giving it flex props, ah? Yes. And what? like, this one can have like flex, what? direction. Because we inherit from box, right? So this also has the power. Uh, what is it? Column. Yeah. And it's like, it works. Let me just call this column blue. Oops. Why outline? I've used outline because border, got, border takes up space, ma. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Can. Uh, so all so far I've just shown using like strings as values, but that's not all. I have the media query, like. <laughs> how you know? <laughs> Cause that's the next question. That's the first question. Oh, that okay, I have, yeah. Uh, that's how the media query, right? That's a very good question. Yeah. This, so, this is a podcast, podcast, must so have interaction. So this <laughs> part actually comes with with like two things. So there's like media queries and themes. So if you see what's happening here, right? If I do 10px. Oops. Just to show off the media query thing. I pass in an array, instead of passing a string, I pass in an array. And this first item in the array is actually is mobile first, so below a predefined uh screen with like mobile like 40 EM 40 EMs or whatever, right? Like this is the without media queries uh level. No because mobile my mobile first, right? This is the, the default base. Then this is where the next the first media query comes in. So where's the media query? So that's the thing, that's the theme thing. So it comes, oh. so start system comes with a theme already. Oh. And, I, and the goal is like you use the start components to customize the theme using... Let's show, let's show. Okay, it's like can, a, it's like can, a object can, thing. Can, can. So just to show that this works, uh, you use colors do, instead, right? Do, yeah la. This is not a good example, bro. Okay, I just take a chance to show colors because yes. that's also a thing. Uh, okay, app. 
Let's find it. Where's he broken? Sin syntax error though. Okay. Uh, there's a colors thing. So, I don't know why I need colors. Yeah, I need colors. Colors. So we can put the same thing in. So I'm just basically turning my box component to have all the super powers. Mm. So I like it. That's great. Something's wrong. Oops. Okay. Hashtag test in production. Yeah. Yo. Like SMRT. Oops. Oh. <laughs> NTUC fire shot. No, I no, just you don't enough. <laughs> no, no, like, no, Oops, it's just a joke. Out. Please don't. Let's please don't it. fire Sheldon tanks. So I can put, like, okay, red. <laughs> blue. There's a lot of Jing Hu Yuan Gong here. I should keep mm. my mouth shut. Oh, As a private shot. sector employee. Just to prove this thing works. Doesn't seem to be working. Let me refresh this. Ah, uh, oh wait, color, color. I totally messed up the ABI. It would be so ironic if the ABI spelled color with a U. But I'm sure that's no, not the case. Not I'm sure that's not the case. But still, let me see. Color, import color. Do you spell color correctly or not? I think I spell color the the, the this um, way more than the. The, the huh? away, right? Huh? Are you? Do you? Do you? GCSE Queen's English graduate never oh, ah? Is the S not the not the? No. Lol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Yes. Well done. Applause. So, Virtual applause. Yes. Yeah, so this is red on mobile, and then you expand it. Come on! Come on! It's happening. Ah! Wow, finally, so long. Yeah, so this shows that the responsive thing works, right? Yeah. So there's a theme happening. So there's like a preset. Uh, like if you don't customize the theme, like mm. subsystem comes with a theme by default. So mm. if you want to see the defaults, I think uh, okay, there was a defaults thing page somewhere here. So, so please, please share how to change these defaults because mm. like everybody want different breakpoint. Then how? Yeah. So. <laughs> This actually goes very well with stock system. So, yeah. <laughs> it's hanging. Ah, what's it called? You should be called the Hui Jing and Sheldon show. I thought it. Oh shit, is that a podcast idea? <laughs> yes, yeah. People are reading your PhD podcast, eh? You know, the CSS podcast, eh? Wait, 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 let me. I forgot how to do it. Where is that thing? <laughs> Team provider, okay, I'll just copy this. Team provider, there's a hook, ah. From uh? stock. Uh, it's a uh, stock components. Yeah, it's, it's a context API. Ah, uh, so just going to modern import API, provider. yo. Stock components from or from app. Okay, let's put it from here. Then I'll just wrap this uh, theme provider around everything. Then I can create uh, a theme. Specific object. Uh, what's it called? Breakpoints, right? Mm. So let's create some ridiculous breakpoint like 10 pixels or whatever. Just to show that this works. Fine. Yeah. Now do what already? Put, uh, put 15. What? 15 pixels? No, no, like EM. Okay, EM. Then 25. You must calculate your head, right? You see, just use pixels. 30, uh, 25. 25. And then 40. 40. Yeah. Okay, so this actually gives us uh, 3. Four middle queries, as in the default, then the first, then the next three, right? Why you don't want the default? As in mobile first, ma, so there's always a, there's always a default. So you pass in the theme as a theme, into a theme actually a property, and this is not, oh, what am I doing? Yeah, all oh, this object am I doing? Uh, no. So now my breakpoints are updated. Yeah, ah. it's Ta -da. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so the idea is that when you pass in an array, you actually Oh look, there's one more, one more person queries. now in. I don't know oh, who you wow. are. No, you draw is a fake, fake news. Your fake news. Okay, keep going. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So another thing is another thing I'm sure also is uh these paddings and stuff, right? The margins. You can pass in an array of numbers, like four and. Oh my god, so ugly. <laughs> so I get out of this. Eh. I don't. Okay. So 
So this 4 and 2 doesn't mean 4 pixels and 2 pixels. It, it actually corresponds to an array. So mm. basically you have like this array here, right? So 4 would be the fourth item in the fourth index in the array, so 16, 2 would be 4. And this is the default uh, thing that comes with star system. So mm. this is actually 16 pixels, this is actually 4 pixels. Wait, okay, wait, 2 is no, 2 is 0, 2, 8 pixels. <laughs> wait, then 4 is what? <laughs> 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Welcome to the world of index it's four and counting. 16, it's 4 and 16. Zero indexes, yeah. my friend. Zero indexes. So if you pass in a number like this, it actually becomes... It actually takes from the that array. So just to show that it works. Ta -da. Then for me, I don't like numbers. I mean, I don't like numbers. So I just do... I just do... Not here. Space. I give it an object instead. So... Uh, space. I call, I, I call it XS, like what? Two, two oh, pixels? I guess anyhow do something. Right? Eight pixels and all that. Am I like overshooting time already? No, la. OT, okay, OT, la. OT, OT, man. The, the next one is like how. Yeah, never mind. I'll talk about my stupid idea later. So then I can just use the actual the, num the values here. So XS, or the. I said I want like 16 pixels on mobile, so MD here. The next one I want like XS for some reason, so yeah. yeah so now I'm using like uh, objects instead of arrays to represent this scale of values. Mm. So yeah, I think that's like that's the way I use the, the space lah. That's XS and D. It's easier to think about. But that limits you to only like XS, SM, MD, LG, XL or five. Yeah. So yeah, actually this is like. Just a very quick rundown of like the the, the, the things that I use in all our system. I'm just scratching the surface. There's a lot more that uh, has it has like this like different grid. Where's the grid? Border, background, grid. This layout thing I also didn't use. It's like it's like you can do the width thing directly and display block and all that stuff. So yeah, if you don't use this, maybe this will after watching this you'll be keen to find out more. If you don't use React, maybe this will push you over to React. So, so actually, my question is, uh, yeah. what's the advantage over this versus just writing the CSS? As in, if you're using React? Yes. So like you're saying, just class names and stuff, right? Yeah. Well, at least if you're doing stock components already, like I was, I was doing stock components already, then it's very weird to no, yeah, you're managing two things. I'm, I, I'm either importing like Bootstrap or some, some other like utility library and managing like my spacing and stuff from there or I have to define it somewhere else, right? Like, why can't you write your styles in your styles.css file? For example, styles. for example. Then I have to create it. Uh, you mean like, hold on, let me, so if you're saying something like a uh, do that thing where I do P0 and all that. No, like just... It's padding 0. Like... Is it? No, as in, like just write CSS. Oh, I'm still properly. writing CSS. I'm still writing CSS. I'm just using this for like... <coughs> the padding and margins only. Because like, if you do websites with a lot of static content and the designers sometimes they... Don't really follow certain rules one. They just, oh, this one is a special page. So that... Like you can't really make component ties certain things because... Yes, 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 yes. That's right, my point. Page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... So I'm like, why, why don't you just like CSS... The whole thing. Ah, yeah, we start components, ah. So I'm basically, wow, well, what? Well, if I do that, I'll basically be creating a new component. Uh, like for this particular page, page, like about us. Oh, I guess my right. question is like, why, why do you have to use start components when oh, you can just write why CSS? Start components? That's ah. a different story already. Oh, okay, can can. Thing is, uh, yeah, can. start components is uh. <laughs> On the record, you buy in, bro. Don't buy in, la. Okay, the can. The other way, here's modules, la, Right, you're saying. Oh, you can just write CSS. Never mind. Okay, okay. It's okay. No, I I'm just yeah, being it's, it's a totally different thing because can. this is this this don't you don't think about the class names anymore with stock components. So that's like that's like something that I was chasing lah. Okay, mm. noted, noted. Yeah. So if you already buy into this, then oh, great. Good. Otherwise, that's another talk for another day. Ah uh, uh, ah yeah. uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. On the record, another talk for another, another day. Talk, day. Uh. Hey, 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 we are not cutting Someone this out in post. Someone else will give a talk. Okay. 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 Let's okay. go back to the other thing that you wanna do. Okay, so uh, Sheldon's part is, is done, yes. so uh, we can like 
Uh, FYI for the people who the two two gentlemen who are on the call, uh, we are also recording this, so you are here oh, talking to who's the third person? Eugene. Who's Eugene? Hi Eugene. Uh, I don't know who you are, but hi. Oh, wait, hi, hi Eugene. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh.